Hey first graders, this is Mrs. Daniel from Citizenship Academy and today we're going to work on lesson 26 in module 2. Let's get started. Okay. So our objective for today is to identify 110 as a unit by renaming representations of 10. Let's look at what we mean by that. Before we get started, we're going to count by fives. Help me count. Starting at zero, counting by fives. Ready? Zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. The next one, we're going to look and see what's ten more. So if we have 10 more than 5, we're going to have 15. 10 more than 8, we'll have 18. 10 more than 4, we'll have 14. 10 more than 5, we'll have 15. Okay, now we're doing 10 less. So now if we take away that 10, what are we left with? Just 6. 10 less than 16 is 6. 10 less than 15 is 5. 10 less than 18 is 8. Good job. All right. Let's think about some of the math tools that we've used so far this year. We've used a runner wreck and rec bracelet, a 5 group card of 10, a 10 frame, and our fingers. All of those ways can show 10 in a bundle. We're going to make 12 with real and imaginary fingers. So get your fingers ready. Get your fingers ready, and we're going to count our fingers, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. Put them together, we have 10. This is a group of 10 right here. 10 fingers. So if we want to make 12, we have 10. And then how many more do we have? 10, 11, 12. We have two more. So two imaginary fingers. We have a 10, a group of 10, and two more. Look at this one. Let's make 19 with real and imaginary fingers. Okay? So again, we're going to count our fingers. Help me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 together, and we want to make 19. So that's 10 and 9 more. We could look at it like this. We have a 10. And we have nine more to make 19. It's a group of 10 and a group of nine ones. One ten, nine ones gives us 19. Okay. All right, let's make 18. 18. Using our 10, we have 10 fingers. We're going to put 10 fingers together. 10. And then we need how many more to make 18? We have a 10 and we need 8 more to make 18. You see that? It says group of 10, 1 10, and 8 ones equals 18. What about if we want to make 15? We have 10 fingers. Put them together. We have a bundle of 10. One 10. And how many more for 15? That would be one 10 and a group of five ones to make 15. Okay. What if I wanted to make 14? 10 fingers. We have one 10. And then we need how many more? 14. 1, 10. And we have 4 more to make 14. 
14. Okay. Back to our PowerPoint. Let's get past these because we already did them. We did 15. We did 14. Look at this. This is called a five group column. Look at how these are in a group of five and another group of five. And we have a line through here. And this shows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This shows a group of ten. And then we have some more here. So if this is a group of ten and we have one, two, three, four here, this is a group of one ten and four ones. One ten, four ones. Look at this one. Ooh, oh, it's just bigger. One ten. This is a group of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when you see this, this is a group of ten. Ten. We have four more. So we have one ten, oops, and four ones. Look at this one. One ten and four ones, which is a fourteen. Hey, can you guys draw that on your piece of paper or your whiteboard? Draw 14. You're going to draw 110 and then four more. I'm going to do it on my whiteboard too. 110 and four more. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. I'm going to draw a line through the whole thing. Just like that. It's not perfect. And then 14. I need four more. One, two, three, four. Kind of looks like a big snowman. So this is a one, ten, and four ones. One, ten. And four ones. Can you do this on your piece of paper or your whiteboard? One ten. There's a group of ten. And four ones. One, two, three, four. Hey, if you need more time, please pause the video. Okay. Oops. All right. Look at this one. They have the five groups over here, and they show you. Okay, we have a group of ten, so they show you ten. And then how many are down here? Two. So watch, two. So now we have how many? Twelve. Is that how many we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. So we have 12, which is a group of 10. Here's our group of 10. And we have how many more? Two. So this means that we have one 10 and how many ones? And two ones. One 10 and two ones. Let's look at another one. We have a group of 10, and we have how many more? One, two, three, four. So they're showing our group of 10. And now, oh, what are we going to put here? Four. One 10 and four ones. We're going to have a 10 and four ones. So 14 is the same as one 10 and four ones. We have one more to look at. Okay, we've got ten. And look how many we have here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have a group of ten. And then we have nine more ones. So we have a group of ten 
and nine ones. So 19 is the same as one ten and nine ones. All right, my friends, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our lesson and you can go ahead and get started on your exit ticket. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.